<clears throat> well, welcome to uh, Sculpt VR, and uh, it's Halloween is coming, so I thought maybe we would uh, create a, a jack-o'-lantern. We're going to start off with a sphere, and uh, make sure that's on smooth, on layer one. There we go. I found a kind of an orangey brown color that we can start off with and um, we're just going to uh, put that in there. Now we know that pumpkins are round but they're not perfectly round like a like a bowling ball, bowling ball. So uh, we're going to uh, now go into and add some um, features that would make it look more like a a pumpkin. So we're going to sphere and we're going to uh, let me just do a slightly different shade of that. Let's go in here. I want to save that orange, so let's go in here and grab another orange. And um, maybe a little more red than that. Okay. And so let's... Um, we know that pumpkins have a little bit of a... Of a um, some ridges, I guess you could call them. So we're going to go ahead and put some ridges in here. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And we'll just start off with a ridge here. Takes a little bit of patience to get that to look about right. And we'll put one here. Bring that down. And we'll put one over here on this side. Okay. And then we're going to just move that around a little bit. And do the same thing here. And right there. And as long as we're going around here, we'll just go ahead and put this around the whole circle here. And we've got one more here to go. Okay, so now we have sort of a pumpkin. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our um, smooth brush. And we're just going to smooth this whole thing down. We can use this smooth brush to not only smooth it out, but get rid of some of the, some of the bumps. And when we're finished, we have, let me get rid of that. Pumpkins are never perfectly round anyway, and they always have some uh, little um, imperfections and so on. But I think that makes for a, a pretty good pumpkin right there. So we're going to leave that alone there. And let's go ahead now, and um, we want to carve our pumpkin. But the first thing we want to do is we have a pumpkin is we want to take out the inside. So let's make this a little bit smaller and let's just go ahead and go back to here, change this to a, to the uh, carving tool, make that a little bit smaller and we'll just go in through here and we'll just make ourselves and we'll, like we do with a regular pumpkin. We're just going to go ahead in there and we're just going to clean all the inside out there. We don't want to get too close to the outside. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's use this for the front. I'm trying to see which is the best front to use. This one here. That looks pretty good for a front. All right. Now we're going to continue to use this uh, sculpt tool. Make it a little bit smaller now. And let's see. The first thing we want to put in is, a, well, I guess a nose. I'm going to move this a little bit closer here. And... We'll just kind of put in a, a little triangle nose, and we're going to work our way back. And we're going to probably have to go into this pumpkin now, and we're going to have to make this um, a little bit narrower so we can see the inside of it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's make this a little bit bigger. And we want this to be a little less thick in here. Okay. 
whoops, didn't want to do that. All right, so we want to get in here and we want to make this a little bit thinner. So now we can look inside there and we see that we have an, the interior pretty well shaped out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make this smaller again and let's do a couple of eyes. Put one here. I'm just going to carve carve an eye in here. We want that eye to go all the way through. And again, we may have to go back in and make the inside a little bit thinner so we can see that eye. Okay. And a mouth. Now the mouth, we want, we want to show some teeth. So, all right, so that's kind of, that's kind of the idea we're going to do here for a mouth. And again, we're just going to keep carving into that. We've got some teeth here, and we've got a a mouth. Now again, now we got the mouth pretty much done, but we can we can't see into the inside. So again, we're going to make this larger, and we're going to go inside, and we're going to make this area here just a little bit. We want this. We want the skin of the pumpkin to be. There we go. Now we can see we have. A, house, a mouth, and we've got eyes, and uh, you know, not not perfect, but uh, one eye is a little bit higher than the other. But you know, that's what you do when you carve a pumpkin. Um, but the, the thing I want to show you here is the is how we're going to make this lit. So let's uh, we can go back in and we can do some more detail work on this. But the the, the key to this is going in here and we're going to pick yellow and we've got a yellow we're going to make this a yellow ball and we're going to now this is a lit this has um, this one down here means that it's, it's giving out light it's projecting light and that's what we want to do we want to project light we're going to make this larger and we're going to put this inside the pumpkin like that alright put that in there and um, let's back out of that real quick. Let's put that pumpkin, the light, on an, another layer. That way when we put it in there, it doesn't um, interfere with the... We can go in and we can carve the pumpkin a little bit more later. So we got that in there. All right. Now just to show you the effect, let's go into um, our sun and moon and let's make this darker and put the moon up there let's see there we go and there's the moon and you can see that our pumpkin our jack-o-lantern here is glowing and uh, so that's we we've, we've accomplished what we want to accomplish we have a, a have our pumpkin here and um, you can see that uh, it's lit from the inside and if you want to you can go ahead and put a top on it um, uh, and you can go in here and we can um, do some fine tuning to the uh, some smoothing let's go to smoothing brush here and we can smooth a little bit of these edges here And so there we have it, our Halloween jack-o'-lantern lit from inside, uh, very, very quickly done. Uh, it's really not that hard to do. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. You can add some things to this. You can add a, you know, a, a scene with you know, tombstones or you know, all kinds of, uh, you can put it outside on a fence post or whatever you want to do with it. But basically, here we have a, a lit jack-o'-lantern in sculpt uh, VR. So 
Uh, happy Halloween. I know it's kind of early now, but it gives you a chance to get ready for it. Um, until next time, um, this is um, our VR artist, and uh, we welcome you uh, to, s to come back and visit us. Please uh, subscribe if you'd like, or uh, like this, leave a comment, uh, whatever you would like to do to, to let us know what you, uh, how you're enjoying uh, the things that I'm showing you. And uh, until then.